Hello residents of Meepletown, this is Dean, and today I'm going to be doing a run-through of the Istanbul app. And we'll just jump into it. There's a lot going on once you look at these tiles, but it's a pretty simple game to play, and you'll see. So we're going to start by doing a new game. We're just going to play a three-player game. <laughs> Don't judge me, I'm going to do Easy AI. And this is the board setup, and you can change that if you'd like. I'm just going to ran randomize that setup. And we'll hit randomize, and that's where we'll start. And now we will begin. So what you're going to do on your turn is you're going to be picking up your stack of disk, and you're going to be moving them to another tile that's up to two spaces away. And when you do that, you're going to drop your disk off and then take that action. If there's already one of your colored disk at that location, then you're going to pick that disk up into your stack, and then you'll also take that action. So what I'm going to do, um, you'll see I start here at the uh, at the very beginning of the game. This is where I'm going to start. And so I will find a location that I'm going to go to. How about I'd like to get some money, but there's not really a good place for me to do that yet. So I'm going to just try to go to a place where I can gather up resources. Now the problem is, if I go to this place down here where there's another player, I can leave my assistant there, I can take the actions, but the problem is I'm going to have to pay two coins in order to do that. And I don't necessarily want to do that at the beginning of the game because I don't have very much money. So what I will do is go over to this spot over here where I will leave my assistant, and this is the police station. Now when I do that, I am going to send my family member that's there. If you saw that little green disc on the, or cylinder on that tile, it means that that's my family member. And I can send that family member to any location on the board. And where do I want to send them? So I think what I'm going to do is go to a space that I can't really get to easily. And I'll send them all the way down here to get some money. Now at the beginning of the game I won't be able to get as much money but on this tile this is the tea house basically what you're gonna do is you're going to be rolling two dice and this number off to the left that you can change is going to be what you think that number might be. Now at the beginning I don't get any rerolls so if I guess I wanna be pretty accurate so I wanna guess a lower number. I tell you what I'm gonna do seven meaning when I roll the dice if I get a seven, I'll get those coins. Now, if I don't get a seven, if I get two through six, then I'm going to get two coins. So I need to get seven or higher. So we'll, we'll gamble a little bit. Not too much, though. And I did roll a ten. <laughs> now, had I guessed ten, I would have been able to get all ten of those coins. But as it is, I took seven, which is not too bad either. So then I'll hit the next button. Then the computer player, confirm, and then the computer players will take their turn. And what I'm trying to do is gather up gems, and there's different ways to do that. One is to, to go to spots that will allow you to pay certain resources to get a gem. So for example, if I go here, if I pay all those resources, then I'm going to get one of those gems to put on my board. If I go to uh, another place, let's see, they're, they're those spaces that have the gems on the left-hand side. So there's one here. If I get both of those tiles at the small mosque, then I'll get a, a gem there. If I go over here and pay a certain amount of money, I'll get gems there. So there's lots of different ways that you can get gems. What I'm going to do right now is try to get closer over to this location, the Wainwright, because that's going to allow me to get more resources into my cart. Right now, I can only hold two resources, uh, of two of any different type of resource. So I can hold multiple resources but only two of each of those so I want to be able to increase my way my cart size so that I'll be able to hold more resources so somehow I want to move a little bit closer over there and so what I'll do I'll just go here this is at the black market and this is going to allow me to to buy some goodies and I'll I'll show you what I got there so I'm going to let's see I'll leave my assistant there and now what I get to do is select one of these resources to take and I didn't really look to see what I'm gonna, what I need, but I don't have anything yet, so I'm just gonna take that, and then I'm gonna roll, and based on what my roll is, I'll be able to take those, the blue resources, which are the most valuable ones. So let's see, let's roll. I actually got two, which is the max I can hold, and that was a really good roll. 
I'll take that. So I'm also going to take the that cloth there, and I'm butchering the terminology. I apologize for that, but you get the idea. I took the red resource. Hit the confirm, and now it's the players. other players took their turns. Again, I'm wanting to get closer to that Wainwright, but unfortunately, I can't make it there yet. But also, even if I could, I wouldn't want to because there's a guy there and I'd have to pay money. So what I'm going to do is go down here to leave my assistant take those resources. Spices, maybe? Yep, Spice Warehouse. There we go. Take those. And hit confirm, and that will be my entire turn. Now, if you notice, I'm getting low on my disc. I've already set three down. And so I'll be able to... Let's see, I've got the money to be able to increase my Wainwright if I wanted to. Or I can go to the tea house and try to get more money. The problem is I won't have any extra actions if I do that. So I'm just going to go to the Wainwright here. I'll leave my assistant. I'll buy that for seven coins. Now my cart size is larger, as you see. And now this is an encounter. So there's different types of encounters you can have, and I'll just explain those as I get to them. But this encounter is with another player's family member. So what I can do is I can send that family member back to the police station. And if I do that, I'll take three coins or a card one of the bonus cards. I'm just going to take three coins because that will actually be enough for me to be able to increase my Wainwright, uh, include, increase my cart size again, if I can make it back there. So I'll confirm that. That'll be my entire turn. Play is really fast in this game because I'm not really paying attention to what the other players are doing, but that's just so I can give you an idea of, of how to play. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to go back here to show you the fountain. When you go to the fountain, there's not anything special necessarily that happens other than you get to gather all of your disc back and then you're ready to start. So you can choose you can choose which ones you want to bring back or you can just bring all your assistants back. And since there's also some counters there, I'll be able to do that. So the first one is I can uh, take a card and if I want to keep that card, I'll have to pay two and I don't want to spend any money right now, so I'm going to... Well, I guess I could, because I could... Well, no, I'll, I'll discard that for now. And then my second encounter would be, excuse me, with the, the resources. Now I can pay... Let's see, can I hold that? I can. And I can swap out a resource or pay two... So I'll do that. I'll discard. Actually, I'll discard a spice and confirm that action. And then I'll still have enough money to be able to buy to upgrade my cart, which is what I'll do. I'll try to show you some of these other actions as well. I'm not going to get... Normally, you want to kind of hone in on one sort of strategy. And I probably won't do that as much because I want to be able to show you what all these different tiles do. So let's go ahead and go on to something else. Um, let's see, I don't have the money to buy a, a gem there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up to the Sultan's Palace. And what you do with Sultan's Palace, I'm sorry, I can't do this one either. Uh, I don't have the resources yet, but if I if I had the resources, I could pay those. So what, what we're going to do is we're going to try to gather up those resources. So we need a pineapple and then one other good. Let's see where the pineapple is. That's pretty good ways away. Um, however, let's do this. We'll leave our assistant at the Great Mosque. And what happens here is when you leave your assistant there, I can buy that top tile. So this first one, you have to have two of those blue resources. And you only have to have two of them. Or if you're the next one, three, and the next one is four. But you only spend one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now I will have an extra disc to work with. And if I'm able to buy the pineapple one on here, then I'll be able to grab the, the gem from that board. So let's go ahead and try to do that. We're going to go up here, leave our assistant with pineapples with to get fruit. We'll take the fruit, and you always take the max that you can hold. We can hold four right now. So I'll confirm that. And now I'll run down here again, and this time I'll take my assistant. So I actually didn't have to lose one that time, and I'll buy the fruit one. 
let's see. And let's see what we want to do. So the, I, I wanted to show you this real fast. If you ever have any questions about what the abilities do, you the app is great. You can just click on the eye and it'll show you all the different um, things that you need to do, which is uh, which is is really helpful. In this case, I can for the app for the tile that I had just picked up, I can spend two coins and that will allow me to put a disc back under my under my stack. And I need money in order to be able to buy those resources. Oh, here's a good way to get some money and some resources. So I will leave my assistant here and this one changes every time. So once I take this, then it moves on to the next stack, which will be the red, blue, and three coins. So I'll go ahead and take that, which gave me the, the fruit the cloth and then three coins. I'll confirm that. My turn again, and I'm actually not in bad shape. Maybe I, I should have played a more difficult AI. Um, let's see, what do we need to do? We want to be able to... Oh, I can show you, I know what I can do. I can show you how the bonus cards work. You can play these bonus cards at any time. And again, if you have any questions on what they do, you just hit the I button to show you what that is. Well, maybe I can't do that on this one. Oh, the I button on the card. And that says gain five lira. So I'm going to use that card just to take the money. And then that card goes to the top of the stack there. So that if I take this spot in the caravansary, then I'll be able to either take the card that's face up there, the one I just spent, or be able to get some face down card. But what do I need to do? I would like to kind of work my way over to the other side of the board again. So I will, I'm just going to go down here and take these, the fabric here. Again, I'll leave my guy there and take those and that maxes out that. And if you remember, I have my special ability that I can spend $2 to, my, to return my assistant. I won't do that. I want to be able to have some money. Uh, and, well, kind of limited. I probably should have spent the money now that I think about it. I'll, I'll go up here, and I'm going to kind of work my way back to be able to gain my, my disc back. So I'm going to leave my assistant here. And I'll take the spice go and I'll roll and again I rolled an 11 to take two of those that is that's not common I do not usually roll that well but I'll hit the next button confirm that's my action so far I am tied with the blue player we both have one gem I'm actually fairly close to being able to get some more I'm gonna move my guy to the fountain take all my disc back and then I'll be able to have this encounter with the smuggler, and again, I can trade a resource out for another one. I will. I'll do that. So I'll take that, and I would like to hold on to my money. So I'll go ahead and take a. I'll, I'll discard a fabric to swap it out, and I will confirm that action is done. And so now I'm ready to upgrade my cart again, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move over here leave my assistant by the assistant force or sorry by the the cart upgrade and that took most of my money away however i did get a gem because i've maxed out the size of my cart now so i'll confirm that and i would like to be able to go up here to the sultan's palace because i think i can actually purchase I can. I can purchase a gem now, but I don't have the money to pay that assistant so or the other player. So I'm going to move down here to try to get some money. And there's actually a few things that I could do. I'm going to guess seven again, so we'll roll. And I got an eight, so I did get the, the seven dollars that I was looking for. We'll click next to confirm. And so what I could do is a couple options here. I could move up to the small mosque and try to get one of those tiles. Unfortunately, I don't have enough fabric, but I do have enough of these spices. And so I'll go ahead and do that. I'll remember I only have to spend one, but I have to have three. So I'll buy the 
small mask tile for the spices. And now if I get the fabric one, I'll be able to get the gem there, and I'm one step closer to winning. We both, excuse me, all three of the players have two gems right now, so we really have to really pick up the game uh, so that we can win. And that is what I'm going to do, is try to get another gem here. I'll leave my assistant here. And I do have enough goods to do that, and I just have to pay one more good, so then I will buy that gem. And one step closer, I only need two more. Now what I could do is try to gain some more money. That really is what I need, but I have to go down to the bottom of the board to get that. I also would be good if I could get some fabric. So probably not the best move, but I'm going to go ahead and move to the fountain, bring all my assistants back have this encounter and again I need I need fabric but I need more than what I'm gonna get so I'm gonna take I'll tell you what I'm gonna discard a fabric because I'm gonna have to go get some soon anyway I might as well discard my last one to get that and I'm gonna move over to the police station I believe so that Yeah, let's, let's see. I guess I could go somewhere else to get the fabric. Well, I don't really know what I want. What's the best option for me to do here? I would like the spices, so I'll go, let's go ahead and take some spices over here. I'll take those. It's probably kind of distracting me from what I wanted to be able to do now. Um, because I have the green special ability, I can... Uh, once my turn, when I carry out the action of one of the three warehouses, which is what I did, I can pay two, two lira to gain an additional good of any type, and I, I'm probably going to pass on that for now, and then see what else I need to do. The blue player just picked up their third gem, I believe, and so we're running neck and neck right now. I can get some money to try to... Let's do that. I'll get some money, and that way I can hopefully try to buy... Uh, oh, I didn't get it that time. I only got a six, but that's, that's okay. I'm all right with that. But if I get a four more dollars, I can spend that to buy a gem up here at the gemstone dealer. But I also need to be able to get to, to max out on the fabric so that I can get that last tile from the mosque. And then I'll give me one more gem, so I will. I'll skip that and have an encounter. So I'm going to take three dollars, which is going to help me to be able to buy that last gemstone. And let's see what we need to do. Now we need to come back up here to the small mosque, and I need to buy the. Oh, it was the fabric that I need. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, um, I thought I was coming for the spices, so I had the four, discarded the one, now I'm only one gem away, and I only need two more lira to be able to get that. So, let's see, I can go down here and pick up my assistant, and then roll, I don't need as much now, so I'm just going to do a, a five, surely I can get that, and then I got that five dollars, so now I've got 18, and I only need to buy one more gem. I'll confirm there. But it's going to take me two times, two turns to get up there. And I don't need anything else that's near me. So I'm just going to go here to take my assistant. And I'm already maxed out on the on the goods there, so I'll skip that part. I'll have an encounter to get a card. If I want to pay two, mmm... And I won't have enough money for that one. I'll, 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 let's see. I'll just discard that. And confirm my turn. And then one more turn and I will be able to buy that gem. Let's see. Let's get up here. I'll leave my assistant. It's going to cost 15. I've got 18. 
So I'll buy that, get my fifth gem, hit confirm, and then I won. So that is how you play Istanbul. Uh, it's actually, a, like I said, it's a pretty simple game, but there's a lot of iconography on the tiles that for your first game or two might not make a lot of sense, but I really recommend if you're interested in this game to check out the app because the app is actually a ton of fun and that will give you a good idea as to how to play the game, the physical copy of the game. But Istanbul, a game that I really recommend and that is going to do it for this run through. So thanks for coming down to Meeple Town. Thanks for joining us and be sure to follow us on Twitter at Meeple Town Games and connect with us on the Meeple Town Guild, guild number 3407 at boardgamegeek.com and also subscribe to our podcast and YouTube channel. And until next time, thanks for coming down to Meeple Town.